Hello everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery again, and today we're actually not going to do 12.4. We're going to do our review for Unit 12. Uh, since we're not in person, I didn't feel comfortable doing that with you guys because it wanted us to use straws and string and, and some stuff that we just don't have with us. And to me, that's just not fair to you guys. So we're going to do our review today. I'm not going to test you guys on 12.4. So make sure you're on page... 511. So I'm going to write real big in the center here. So page 511 in your Robot Turtle book. Uh, if you don't have your Robot Turtle book open, go ahead and uh, pause the video, get your Robot Turtle book, make sure you have it. All right, so if the video is still playing, that means you guys have it and you're ready to go. Let me clear off the page and this is going to be a pretty quick and easy review because this was not a very difficult unit. So let's start with section A here. Where we see a whole bunch of different color lines and they just want us to tell which one is the longest and which one is the shortest. Now, I'm going to show you what they want us to do over here, okay? These are the ones you guys are going to do on your own. I'm going to show you what to do with these uh, by you demonstrating over here. Okay, with this purple, green, and red line right there. Oh no! Ah, just kidding. Got it. Okay, so what we're going to do is for the longest line, you're going to circle it. So you're just going to make a circle around the longest line. Okay, circle, circle, oval, you know. And for the shortest line, you're going to make a box. You're going to make a box around the shortest one. Let me get a different color here so it stands out. So, of course, for the box, we have angles. We have corners. All right. So, for the longest one, you make a circle. Shortest one, you're going to make a box. All right. So, go ahead and try it with number one over here. Put a box around the longest line. Put a circle around the shortest. Now, which one is the longest? Green, red, or green, red, or blue? And then, which one is the shortest? and put a box around it. Alright, so uh, that should have been pretty quick to do guys. So let's go over number one. If you're not done number one, then pause the video, take your time. But I'm pretty sure everyone's probably done this already. So let me use two different colors here. The longest line is... now. Oh, I almost forgot. You can use the little um, the little method I took talked about when we first started doing this where you have the starting line and then you can always look for uh, which one has the quickest way to their own finish line right so you see the the blue one is the first one to stop right there okay and we can keep checking these if you want and make different colored lines of course you don't have to do this if you don't need to so you can see that the blue is now the shortest so I'm going to make a box around the blue. And then the longest is definitely this green one that's all the way out to this red line. So I'm going to put a circle around that green line. Of course, guys, like I said, you don't have to do the start li starting line and finish lines. If it's you know really easy for you to do this, not a big deal. Okay. Now, number two, you're going to just try that one on your own. I'm not going to give you the answer to this one because I'm going to have mom or dad send me a picture of it to, just so I can see your work. All right. If uh, you're all done, then we're going to move on. If you need more time, just pause the video. We're going to go down to set B. Now remember uh, this section that we covered a few days ago. Well, for here we took some random object like an eraser. But if you guys remember the video I made, it was I was comparing stuff to a playing card. right? And I was using that to measure two different objects to see which one was longer and which one was shorter. And they were doing the same thing with an eraser. And let's see. So you're going to have to circle the picture with the object that is longer. 
okay? So if we were going to practice with the eraser, you see that the, uh, the eraser and the paperclip they're almost like the same length, almost. And then we can compare to the pencil. You can see that the pencil is much longer than the eraser. So if we were to circle the longest one, we would circle the pencil. Okay, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and try number three on your own. It's the green marker and the uh, blue math book. Okay, and it looks like they're comparing it to uh, uh, my best guess is a straw or something. I don't, I'm not too sure. But uh, go ahead and circle the object that is longer. Is it the green marker or the blue math book? All right, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. But like I said, this is going to be a pretty short, easy video, guys, because uh, this was not a very difficult unit. So if we want to uh, check by drawing some little lines, we can do that. The green marker and this little straw thing, I, I guess that's what it is, starts right there. And the green marker ends right there. Or for the blue math book, starts with a straw thing right here. But then uh, it goes way past the, this line where the straw ends. So we can tell that this math book is definitely the longest of the two objects. Okay, and now go ahead and try number four. They are comparing this green crayon and and toothpaste. I don't know if they quite got the size of these things right, but okay. They're comparing a green crayon and a tube of toothpaste, and they're using this piece of string that is the same size, right, to show which one's larger, which one's smaller. So go ahead Try this out, circle the object that is longer, either this green crayon or the tube of toothpaste. All right, if, again, if you need more time, pause the video. If not, you know, awesome. Um, but remember, I'm not gonna give you guys the answer for number four. I want to see your work when mom or dad send me the picture of your work. If you're in my classroom, that is. All right, so now we're just going to flip to the next page. Okay, so now we're on page 512. All right, so I'm going to write real big real quick. Oh, ah. Okay, so 512. That is the page we're on right here. All right, so we're going to do set C first. So let's zoom on in here. Ah, too much. Okay, <laughs> there we go, much better, much better. All right, so they're telling us that we can use same size objects to measure the length of, some, of something. Like when we were using cereal, you guys remember that? Because the cereal, every piece of cereal is kind of the same size, right? And for here, they were using cubes. Now, if you don't have cereal with you, well, get, you can uh, use your fingernails. I was actually telling some friends in class who didn't have any cereal with them. So if you have cereal, you can absolutely go get that cereal if you still have it, or just get another tiny handful. Okay, nothing crazy. Or you can use your uh, pointer finger fingernails, right? And just kind of use the uh, the... The length of your fingernail is going to cross your finger there. It's called the width. And you can just hold it up to the screen or to your book and measure how many fingers going across each line. So even though it's four cubes uh, for this blue marker right here, if I was going to use my pointer fingers, right, because I at least have two pointer fingers I can use, one, two, three, four, that's about five pointer fingers. Okay, so if I didn't, if we don't have cubes, it's okay. But I did measure five pointer fingers. And your answers are going to be a little bit different than mine. And, it, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, because I just have bigger fingers than you guys, right? Not a big deal. But... I want you to go ahead and try to measure this green line up here. 
Okay, number five. And I will, of course, measure this too. Uh, and my answer might be a little bit different than yours, but that's okay. Because we're not in school this year. Things are a little crazy, right? Let's go ahead and try number five. All right, now if you need more time, as always, hit that space bar, pause the video. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of measure out this green line with my pointer fingers to see how many it's going to take. One, two, three, four, five, and it took me about six. It took me about six pointer fingers, so I'm gonna cross out cubes. I'm gonna write six fingers. We're being creative this year. Six fingers. And you might have said um, seven or eight fingers, and that's fine because your fingers are smaller than mine, and that's okay. All right, not a big deal, but it will be pretty close to mine probably. All right, I think the most you might have is nine, uh, but that's all right. Go ahead and try number six. All right, and if you're uh, still working, if you need more time for number six, pause the video as always. If not, we're just going to move on down. And I know we didn't go over set D. We didn't go through um, lesson four because there's no way for me to get the straws and string to your houses, and it, it would be a one really big headache. So, um, But I, I will just explain it to you guys really quick while we're here. Why not? So... When we have weird shaped objects, we need to use different stuff. So a straw is nice and straight, right? So here is a straw. But with a string and straws, you can use the string to measure all these curvy objects or things that might bend around like this curved line right here or, um, or like a feather. If you had a feather, right? Oh, actually, that looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to pretend this is a feather. Alright, so we're going to pretend that this is a feather. <laughs> looks like a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're going to pretend that that's a feather. Now, we can't use something that is very straight, like a straw. So we would need something that can curve around it, like a piece of string. So, what you, what you could do is use a string to go around it. Find where it ends on the string. And then compare it to a straight object like a straw. And then you could get some sort of measurement. So, what do you think that we would use for this wiggly yellow worm right here? You think we would use straws or a string and straws? I'm going to go ahead and let you circle this one. Alright, did you pick an answer? You got one? Okay. So... Like we just said, so for a straight object, like, you know, uh, that playing card that I was using to measure stuff that had a, I think it had like a number seven on it, right? Sideways seven. That is nice and straight. We could use a straw to measure that. But this worm is super wiggly. So we would need a string and some straws to measure this out. And we're not going to fully measure it because we don't have those things. So we're not going to worry about the bottom. All right. So if you're not in my classroom and your teacher had you watch this, or you're, maybe you're watching this with your teacher, um, you know, this is going to be where your part is going to end. And I'm going to tell my friends in my classroom about their independent work. Okay. So if you're not in my classroom, make sure you let your teacher know that, you know, the video is ended and ask him or her what they would like you to do next. Now for friends in my classroom, Let's go check out our independent work. All right, so we're going to click on our man in the blue box, right? Then we click on class work. And right here, it will say unit 12 review. And it'll take you to some Savas questions. Okay, there's about seven questions on there. But I think you guys will get through it pretty easy. 
all right because this wasn't super hard stuff I didn't make any of the questions on the review super hard and anything on the quiz will not be super hard either all right not gonna do it to you guys so uh, I hope that you guys are having fun with this measuring unit and uh, you're enjoying it so if you have any questions make sure you ask me later on or you know uh, you can jump back over just raise your hand and wait patiently I can't always answer questions immediately if I'm teaching um, but yeah, that's it guys. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.